Okay, welcome, welcome back, all you young people. It's so good to see all of you here again today. We are continuing the series that we are doing about the names of God. And do you remember the first two names we talked about? The first one was Jehovah Nissi, the Lord, our banner. That if we lift up his name, like Moses lifted up the staff, we can have the victory in our life. And it is something that we can do in our everyday prayer life. Lift up his name, Jehovah Nissi, over our situation where we need the victory. Then we talked about Jehovah Ra or Jehovah Ra Ah, which is derived from two words, the Lord, our shepherd, and our friend. And we talked about how God does not only want to provide our needs like a shepherd for the sheep, but he also wants to be our friend. He wants to tend to our wounds. He wants to be close to us. He wants to be involved in our life. So today we're going to continue with Jehovah Rapha. Do you know what Jehovah Rapha means? It's a famous one, isn't it? Jehovah Rapha means the Lord, our healer or God who heals. And that is found in Exodus chapter 15. Now remember we said context is so important. So if you go back into the scripture, you see that uh, uh, Moses led out the people of Israel from Egypt out of slavery. They came to the Red Sea. The, the Red Sea parted. Uh, Pharaoh came after them with the army. All this miracle happened, right? Now they were in the desert on the way to the promised land. And then there came a stretch of where they were walking around in the desert and they had no water. So they started to complain. And then finally they found a source of water, but it was sour. They could not drink it. It would make them sick. So God showed Moses, okay, take a piece of wood, throw it into the water, and then the water will be okay. And that's what happened. And then God said this in the following verse. If you listen carefully to the Lord your God and do what is right in his eyes, if you pay attention to his commands and keep all his decrees, I will not bring any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. I am the Lord who heals you. See, this is where Jehovah Rapha is mentioned in the Bible. I am the Lord who heals you. But see, the thing is, it was, it was uh, bound to a condition. See, God says, I will be your healer. I will take care of you. I will make sure that you will be healed. But previously it says the condition and the condition is you have to listen to me carefully. You have to keep my commands and then I will show up to be your faithful healer. Now you have to understand that it was Old Testament times. But even today it talks about the importance that we have to take God and the relationship with God seriously. Not just to treat it as, oh, I do it just at the weekends. I go to church because my parents want me to go to church. Or maybe sometimes I pray because that is just what you're supposed to do as a Christian. No, God wants to have a real relationship. And he wants to be our healer, absolutely. But he wants to be involved in our life, not only when we need a healing. So if we have a headache and we want to come to God and say, God, please take away my headache. But God wants to be involved in every part of your life when things go well when things don't go so well and even when things look very very dire God wants to be involved in every part of your life and he wants to show up as a friend as the shepherd like we talked about but in this instant also as a healer so before we right away take the Panadol pop the pan Panadol maybe just take some time and pray and see if God takes away the headache or not you know God can be experienced come Come on, I want to encourage you, challenge you to really go to God and expect something to happen. We are not just doing this because this is our religious duty. We are doing this because we know we have a living God and he wants to be involved in our life. So if you feel sick in your bodies, go to God. Say, God, help me. Now, I'm not against medicine. I'm not against doctors at all. Okay, please. But before you go to the medicine cabinet and take the Panadol, just pray and wait five minutes. What if God touches you and takes away whatever you're struggling with? Isn't that better than medicine? See, God wants to be involved. 
but it also goes beyond our physical pain. God wants to uh, tend to our wounds that we have, inflicted by others, things that have been said that were hurtful, that were so destroying to us, that really brought us down. God wants to tend to that one as well. And he wants to heal the wounds that we might have because he is God who heals. He is Jehovah Rapha, our healer. So I want to challenge you this week, whenever you go through, if it's an emotional pain or if it's like a physical pain, take a minute and pray about it and expect God to show up. If it doesn't go away in the physical, then get the painkiller. In the, in the spiritual one, just expect God to really come and do something because I know God wants to show up more than you even want him to show up. I know that is a big statement, but I believe it with all my heart that it is true. God wants to show up in your life more than you want him to show up in your life. So if you come to God in prayer and expect him to show up, he will show up. So with this, I challenge you this week, experience more of God. Call on Jehovah Rapha, the Lord, your healer, and expect him to really show up in your life. Okay, guys, I see you for the discussion and the prayer time later on. Until then, love you guys. Bye-bye.